Hi, this is Kathy Vick, Deeply Awake. And although I was anticipating a friend coming over um, for some help, I told her bedtime's 10. I also told her that um, she can rest assured she's protected. I let her know about the last video I posted with the help of the great Melissa Elmore Davis much was done for um, ourselves, for each other, and uh, for you. It was a profound, and I know, you know, I use that word a lot. I know that. Tell me a better word. <laughs> Some of this deep, um, so, um, I watched the video, and when I'm blah blah blah, I am I am vibrationally higher. And although she comes through and she talks to me, when I'm in my uh, reality, then she rides. She's the passenger. She rides along like Dexter's dark passenger. Except mine goes la 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 la. I want to eat some raspberries. Hey, how about that banana split? When are we ever going to get that? Like that. So, so I've got an Ernie riding along with me. So what? He, she doesn't urge me to murder D-bags. So I'm kind of glad about that. Because, I mean, that's one of the reasons I watched Dexter. That's one of the reasons I, wa I read murder books and finally had to put them away. <laughs> to be quite honest with you. <laughs> I mean, what a study. Oh my god, it's amazing. But um, those are studies for another time, a different time. I just had a friend say, Dude, I'd have to be retired to watch your 30 to 60 minute videos. So Jennifer, this is for you. Can't wait to see you again. I am... Um, well, like I said, I'm not really different than I was. I'm more. And I began to get a glimpse of that on the um, the table where I received a, a fantasy come through and a healing. I realized that it wasn't about my old personality dying, which is what I had interpreted. And I, I really just wanted it dead, to be quite frank with you. I had been through a lot of um, ambiguity and um, it takes its toll. And I think that looking at Melissa's behavior and how she holds her energy and then watching mine and how pushy I am and how I don't ever listen. Oh my God. I have to work on that. And my potty mouth. What is up with that? I need to have a chat with her. But I don't, I don't feel assaulted by it. I feel like giggly. But still. It's just a lot to get used to. But I don't have a worry. I um, was able to heal something and and uh, be released from something um, today. And I thought that I had done that yesterday. I thought my last attachment was done um, because it was a physical sensation. But this this is organic to my daily life, and it was um, something I don't have any words for. It's so beautiful. It's just beautiful. And um, they have been, I'm, I'm going to reveal some tonight, <clears throat> but I'll do that in a little bit. Um, everything now is synchronicity. And I remember one video, I'm, um, I don't even know if I, re I released it. I remember being down like this and saying, everything is coded. I can't get away from it. I can't get... And like that. I can't get away from it. I can't get away from it. <coughs> and a day driving away. And, um... It's like everything was talking to me. I'd have, like, a, th a stray thought and I'd look somewhere and there'd be a number or there'd be a sign and there'd be blah, blah. And it's just like, wow. It's been like that for several days. And, I mean, I live synchronicity to synchronicity. That's how I behave. Um, if it's not intuitively... I'm very careful. I'm just energetically careful. I ha I've learned I have to be. It's not good for my body if I'm not in alignment. So um, I get sick. 
That's why I love nursing. So, um, anyway, that's the deal. So there's a lot going on. I'm going to do a longer video, Jennifer. <laughs> it doesn't really matter to me which one you watch. Um, I wish that they could be downloaded so, I, I mean, I could just go boom and then regardless of where I'm at, just listen. But the truth is that this is sort of to let you know that I understand that um, the next part of the work is just quiet uh, review and transcription and editing. Um, I find that they uh, one thing to close. Um, you're going to notice some inconsistencies. And you're going to notice some things that are going to be cleaned up and edited um, in the written word. Um, I come from a place where I was so, I, I suffered from almost a mutism um, that was so deep that it, it created like real physical problems and um, I ruminated and I and it, I knew that if I spoke then I'd, I'd have to spend and I think it was flat self-flagellation to be honest with you. I think it was a holdover. I don't know what it was but it was really painful and I did that for uh, decades just to review, just to make sure everything was lining up, everything was okay, no one had their feelings hurt, all that. So, um, this is important, and it's important for you to hear this before you see the next video. I learned something today, what well, I learned a lot, and I'm assured that that's going to continue. I don't have to, I'm not like on fire to write it down or to get it captured because I've begun to realize that yeah, this is just the rhythm now, so just let it be. It, it all is, uh, it grows on each other. It grows on itself, so is that exponential? Geometric, really. So, um, uh, the Master Crayon often says, I was never physical. I have never been physical. And the only reason I can tell you this is because the consciousness is ready, slash, Someone already, somebody already is holding this, and my heart is going. Dum, 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 dum. And I didn't understand the profundity and the paradox that he was uh, voicing until I was standing in Melissa's kitchen. And I did tell Melissa of my understanding of his words and the peace that it brought me, which is purely, it's biological. And that is that um, I'm a human. Even so, as a human, as humans. And also as, uh, as ancients who now are in alignment with their uh, galactic cash and their roles. Um, I'm human. As such, is it implied that there's permission in the consciousness? Isn't it just a statement of uh, fact that isn't perhaps languaged but only implied? I can't give you this information or I'm giving you this information only because the human has granted permission, is in allowance, is ready. And I can assure you, I'm all of those things. So tonight I'm wondering how much is appropriate to hide. And this lifelong quest of mine, which was a, like, panic levels, like, uh, um, it affected the endocrine system. And uh, it was this need to make sure there was permission. But Melissa looked me in the eye, and uh, she saw my little girl crying. We have to make the pain go away. We just got to make the pain go away. We have to give more love. We have to just give so much more love. We have to, we have to, have to. We can do this. We can do this. It doesn't have to hurt anymore. It doesn't have to hurt. Please, it's got to take an We can't feel it in my body anymore. I don't want to hear it in my brain anymore. I don't want to feel it anymore. We got to give more love. We got to give more love. Come on, come on. And that's how we began our ceremony. And you, all of you, those who listen and those who don't, you are resting in angel's arms tonight. And those who are closest to me, um, 
Rest assured you're protected. Rest assured that you're safe. Rest assured that you're seen. You're known. You're loved. And you are thanked. With gifts that are boggling. And hopefully, 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 opened. <laughs> Namaste.